When ammonia is produced in the liver, it is easily detoxified by incorporating it into the urea molecule through the urea cycle. However, ammonia can also be produced in many peripheral tissues locally and and it could be quite toxic to these tissues. So there is a mechanism for detoxifying that ammonia peripherally that we will discuss shortly. There are many sources of ammonia can be produced in peripheral tissue and that includes metabolism of nitrogen containing uh, molecules including nucleotides, catecholamines, uh, uh, other nitrogen containing molecules that when metabolized will produce ammonia in peripheral tissue. The major mechanism involved in detoxifying peripherally produced ammonia is to incorporate it into another molecule that is not toxic. Peripherally, ammonia can be condensed with glutamate to form the amino acid glutamine. This is catalyzed by glutamine synthase present in many tissues. The incorporation of ammonia into glutamine detoxifies it and puts it in a form that is easily transportable. The glutamine formed can be released into the bloodstream and can be picked up by either the liver or the kidney. In the liver, glutamine can be broken down by glutaminase and the ammonia released from glutamine can easily be detoxified by incorporating it into urea through the urea cycle. In the kidney, glutaminase will also metabolize glutamine into glutamate and ammonia. However, in the kidney, the ammonia can be released in the urine and easily disposed of that way. It is important to distinguish the key roles of glutamine and glutamate. Glutamine formed in peripheral tissue by incorporating ammonia into glutamate serves to detoxify peripheral ammonia and serves as a vehicle for transport of ammonia back to the liver or kidney. Glutamate, on the other hand, serves as a sink for nitrogen during amino acid metabolism and an example of that is the ALT reaction where alpha ketoglutarate accepts the amine group from alanine to form glutamate. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.